My trusty glove. I just want to say this. This do not do this at home by yourself. If you are under 18 and you are not very responsible, do not do this without a parent. Make sure to ask a parent. And this is extremely dangerous. This will burn your hand off. What <laughs> am I watching? I'm going to say this right now. Do not do this at home. Acid versus scooter parts. Dangerous science experiment. I am stupid. Because that just smells like I'm gonna die. And these are toxic fumes. I should not have done this. This was dumb. I am stupid. I have another one too. Look at this. Look at that freaking beard. Look at that thing. 40,000 views. So apparently that means that you guys want to see this again. So we're gonna make another Acid Versus video. Okay, so as you guys saw in that last video, I made a video series a while back and it was Acid Versus Scooter Parts. Last one I did was Walmart Scooter Wheel Versus Acid. It surprisingly held up very well. Today's video is going to be Acid Versus Titanium Scooter Bars. I already know this is gonna be a dumb, 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 dumb idea. So I got a comment on my YouTube channel yesterday, on yesterday's video about the $100 bearings versus uh, $5 bearings. So if you guys wanna see that video, make sure to go and click the card right up there. Um, I go and ride Megazone, we go and do a lot of tricks, yeah. But he said, stop making the same videos, like nobody cares about bearings, make quality content. Sorry Samuel, I guess I'll s learn from that and not make any more videos about uh, bearings. Apparently nobody wants to watch it. So, so that means we're gonna go and start getting a little bit more risky again and start making uh, things in acid. Sounds like fun to me. If you guys want more science experiments with scooter parts, then of course give this video a big thumbs up and also go and comment down below. By the way, before we get into this video, I also have to say this, do not do this at home at all, do not. Because muriatic acid is horrible for your lung and this is really dumb and let me do the dumb stuff. That's what we're gonna be doing today. I have to go to Ace Hardware and go buy some more muriatic acid for this video. By the way, everybody, I want you guys to go and uh, comment down below some video ideas. Now when I go and say comment down below, I want you guys to comment down below something new. Something new, something trendy because as you guys all do know, scootering, the, the views are not as good as they were last year. Now a lot of that is is content. It's that we're getting stale with our content as content providers like myself and a bunch of other people. Nobody's really doing anything different. Go and make like the hydro dips, the painting the scooter decks, but everybody's already seen that. We want to see something brand new. Send a scooter down, uh, a uh, hundred foot bridge. I think that'd be pretty cool. Scootering into a lake. I think that'd be really cool. Like scooter tricks into a lake. I want to see stuff new. And of course, if you guys are also new to this channel, go and subscribe. We're almost at 80,000 subscribers and that means we're only 20,000 subscribers away from 100,000 subscribers. But by the way, like I said, do not do this at home. It's very dumb. It's very dumb. Very, very dumb. Let's go to Ace Hardware. This is good. How you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? Pretty good. Thank you. I appreciate it very much. Oh, like what, what's like the the idea of it? Just making YouTube videos. All right. Yeah. Just doing stuff with Muratic ass. All right, you guys. So I definitely forgot to grab some gloves for the acid. So like I, I'm gonna say this one more time, guys. Do not mess with Muratic acid. I'm the one. Like I said, do not mess with acid. I am the stupid science experimenter. I don't, I have a degree in being an idiot, okay? These ones, we good. All right, so we're back at the shop now. Now we got a couple of things that we're gonna be using. A lot of people might be all mad because I'm using titanium bars. You're be like, oh, you're gonna be ruining them. You're gonna be dipping them in acid. You're gonna ruin the titanium bars. Well, no, that's not exactly true. Uh, this is a very, very, very rare kind of flaw that some titanium bars have. Of course, we inspected them after we already got them welded. Well, then we noticed it, so then we didn't put them on the market, so nobody was able to buy them. But these are a defective pair. Sometimes titanium will come cracked, as you guys can see there. This titanium bar is cracked all the way through. So these are gonna be the titanium bars that we're gonna be using for this science experiment. I think I'm only gonna be able to use like right here because I can't obviously put the whole bar in because that would for sure kill me. We're also gonna be using a deck as well to see what happens with this after we go and see what happens with the titanium because I don't know if the titanium is actually gonna, I know for a fact this will. We're also gonna use this little fusion wheel here. Kind of dead, so we're gonna use this as well. All right, so if you guys can't hear me, I'm sorry. I have to go right next to the fence because 
well, I can't do any of the shop because I don't want to get anybody hurt. I don't, I want to do it in a, in a place that nobody's around. So I thought next to the fence would be the best bet. It's about, I'd say it's about 100 feet away from the shop, so we, we should be good from there. The stuff that we got, some latex gloves. We got some latex gloves because we want to be safe when we're doing this because messing around with muriatic acid is no joke. Do not do it. I, I highly, I cannot say that enough. Do not mess with this stuff. Let the dummy do this. I have an old shirt that I'm gonna wrap around my face so I don't like breathe in any of the chemicals because they are definitely very, very dangerous. It's already starting to do stuff. So I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit and then we'll, we'll come back to it. So now I think it's a good time to start putting it out. So I got some dirt. I'm gonna put it inside there, so then it'll start to like pull the acid down, and then we're gonna go and dispose of it safely. Alrighty guys, so here we have all the things that we dipped in the acid. Don't worry, I already neutralized it. This is just water, I cleaned them all off so um, to hopefully make sure that it's not gonna have any more acid on it. I also put brand new gloves on so I didn't touch any of the acid. I'm gonna take out some of the stuff and put it on the floor, but all this is clean now. Okay. And boom. So let's start off with the deck first. So the deck didn't have too much done to it because it is covered in anodized paint. So therefore it would have to eat through the paint first and then touch the aluminum and then it would just start eating this puppy away. Um, it didn't do that. Maybe we should try it again with a raw deck. But as you guys can see uh, with the wheel it looks kind of destroyed. So we're gonna get to that last. This is a piece of titanium bar that I cut off um, when, we were, uh, when we were waiting. And I just threw it in there. It looks destroyed, like completely and utterly destroyed. Uh, this one was raw, so it had a little bit more effect on the actual paint. Acid touching anything is going to ruin it. So never mess with acid. It's going to burn your freaking hand off, everybody. This is also another piece of aluminum that I grabbed just so I can do it for the video. Let me see if I can bend it. It's lost a lot of mass. Now it looks like it's a steel bar. Um, if you guys know anything about aluminum bars, they come really, really thick. This was an Envy bar before, and now it's just literally scrap metal. So the wheel is the thing that had the most stuff done to it. So you guys might be thinking, oh, that, that looks like it's still rideable. Nothing looked like it happened that much to it. But I'm going to show you guys what an old Fusion wheel looks like and what this one looks like. So. Here is the old fusion wheel that I had. It, it looks like it lost a lot of color in the urethane, which obviously it did. If you guys look like right around there, you guys can see where the old aluminum used to be, but it ate through most of that. Now, acid wheel, what the wheel used to look like. You guys see a difference? <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy. If you guys want me to go and try to ride this wheel in a video, then of course, give this video a big thumbs up. So I'll make that video if this video gets to 1,000 likes. So like the video to see me test the acid wheel, the acid deck as well. And comment down below what else you guys would want me to go and dip in acid. Just one more comparison. Look at the legs on them. 
Look at how much thicker this leg is compared to this leg. That's crazy. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys do like these types of videos, then make sure to go and comment down below. Give me some good corrective criticism and what else you guys would want me to do to go and destroy scooter parts or just make, or just make, you know, it's science, it's science. The school year is just starting up again for a lot of the people in the US. So I thought it would be a perfect day to go and try to do a science experiment. So if there is anything for science, if you guys need to do a science project, then of course, just go to this video and you guys can make your science project on this video if it does pertain to something about chemicals and chemical reactions and everything like that. I'm gonna go leave a link down in the description description for all the chemicals and the description of what muriatic acid does. It's very, very dangerous, so make sure you guys do not ever mess with muriatic acid. But yeah, once again, if you guys want any more science experiments or anything like that in the scootering industry, of course, give this video a big thumbs up. Let me down, let me know down below, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out, bro.